Good morning and welcome to Connect, our daily meditation where we connect to God, each other and our inner selves. We read in the Bible that it's good to meditate on the Word of God. So find a comfortable place and inhale slowly, breathe in peace, exhale, drive out anxiety, worries, stress and fear. Somebody once said that yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose. Is that really true? Can we really even be sure of a tomorrow? Proverbs 27 verse 1 says, Do not boast about tomorrow. That means, don't brag about tomorrow, as if what you have planned for tomorrow will certainly happen. The rich fool of Luke 12 said something like this when he said that my fields will produce a great harvest. I will harvest a great crop. I will build bigger barns. I will retire very wealthy. And I will enjoy my wealth. I will do this and I will do that tomorrow. We sometimes do exactly the same. We say to each other, I will see you tomorrow. Really? Is that true? How can you be so sure? We often hardly give a thought to the fact that we might not see each other later or tomorrow. My friend, we are residents of time. And time is a precious commodity that must be used today. Because tomorrow might not be ours to enjoy. Tomorrow's circumstances could change completely. But even so, the Bible also tells us not to worry about tomorrow. And anyway, tomorrow is a gift from God. And we cannot demand it. And we are not entitled to it either. And with this deadly virus trawling around the world, and churches across the globe having had to close their doors, we see how fast our plans can change. But life is still beautiful. Life is still a gift. 24-7 we are blessed beyond measure. To be here, to share, to care, love and live is a privilege that God has lavishly poured out upon us all. And today come to us with a promise that we might have 86,400 seconds ahead of us. Now we are not promised a decade. We are not promised a century either. But let us make the most of every precious moment that we have. Accidents, surprises, good and bad, can happen at any time. So let us look forward to what God will do today in our lives and through our lives. Make the most of every precious moment. Help people in need, because you never know if you're going to be the one needing help. Time is moving, and every day is part of God's plan, revealed only as it unfolds. Now, it is impossible to pin down time in advance as belonging to us just as it is impossible for our intellect to capture eternity. And yet we form part of eternity. So let us deal with time praying and believing. And let us regard it in the light of God's presence. And instead of bragging about tomorrow, let us use today, rest at night, and then sing a prayer to God in the morning for His protection and care. 
Let us come to our Father in prayer. Father God, I praise you for the gift of another day. Father, your mercy is on you every morning. My eyes are open and my heart is beating. And yes, Father God, I don't know what will happen today, but I know you have entrusted me with all these precious hours. And today your plan is for my good. So please protect my heart and mind today. Help me focus my thoughts on things that are right, pure and true. And please give me your wisdom and fill me with your peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.